Hi, how are you? It's Traps in here, and welcome back to our adventures in New World. Last episode, we had to fight against Sequilla because she became corrupted. Because she could not handle her emotions that she felt when James Sexton chose another woman over her. So, after we defeated her, we were told to come here to Valor Hold and speak with Hughes Dequet. And he told us to go to a mine and see what's going on with the corrupted down there. And now today, we have to go defeat the foreman at that mine. So that's what we are going to do today. Interested to see if it will be a challenge. Corrupted down there are pretty much the same level as me, and I assume this foreman will be around the, the same level and probably an elite, so it could be a tough fight. A lot of people are, uh, well, if, not a lot of people, but I've been seeing some content recently saying that, you know, New World's kind of a, a dead game, or it's dying. And yeah, it's been on the downtrend, but the thing is, I think it, uh, it came out a little too early. And I wouldn't give up on it just yet. I think some players may come back to it. Yeah, it does only have 20,000 players playing at a time, which is pretty low for an MMO. Oh my gosh. But I think as it adds more content and, you know, game modes like, you know, Arena, it should grow a community and a player base again. It's a, like, it's a good looking game. It's too bad what happened. And it's interesting that this game actually wanted to be more of like a PvP sandbox game. But, um... They decided to change course. And become more of a theme park style MMO. Like many MMOs out there. You know, pretty much... A Everybody chooses that route. Like, for example, World of Warcraft is, like, the pioneer of that. And what a theme park MMO is, is it's an MMO that accommodates, like, you know, a wide variety of players. You know, it has PvE and PvP. It has, like, you know, mount collecting, exploration... Maybe a little bit of an RP scene. It has like multiple dungeons. You know, arenas. We're gonna chase down here. Let's get out of here. But yeah, it's pretty much a, like an MMO like, you know, Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, um, Elder Scrolls Online's like that. Lost Ark. Ooh, oh, you can loot that. Nice. We're gonna get shot, though. Oh, you hit us right. Perfect time to hit us there. But yeah, I wonder why they decided to change course. I guess... Maybe the PvP sandbox style was just a little too hardcore. Because I remember when I first started playing the game and I was, like, watching streams, people were saying that they used to, uh... It used to be PvP, like, servers. Where there's, like, only, like, PvP's on all the time. Because that's what a PvP sandbox game would be like, right? And... They said that it was just too... There was too much griefing going on. And, like, some players were not even able to, like, leave their settlement without getting wrecked. And, yeah, that, that kind of... That does suck, I agree. To an extent. But it is, uh, it is a fun... Fun game, game mo mode as well. And it would be cool if they, uh... Maybe introduce that on some servers just for people to, you know, maybe give it a try. 
let people, you know, wore it out for, like, three to six months. Depending on how, like, long it takes for the war to end. And, uh, then just reset the server. It's not like you would keep your character or anything like that. But you would, uh, you know, you get to go out into a tournament and, uh, and join a faction and then fight for, you know, control of the world. Which I think is kind of fun. And would, uh, attract a niche community in the MMO scene. There's actually, there's a lot of people who enjoy, you know, beating the crap out of other players and... And PvP, that style of PvP. And I also heard that supposedly players used to lose gear. They would, they would like, drop gear when they died. And, like, in the alpha or something like that. I don't know. Something I heard. I don't know if it's true, but... That would make the game pretty hardcore. I think the more variety the game has, the better, you know what I mean? Like, it's cool if they have all this PvE content. But to be able to access this PvE content, it should be, like, kind of a... It would be kind of cool if, like, it was... Like, you know, you had to, like, go on a journey and, like, it was dangerous getting to the dungeon because, you know, you're in a war with other factions and all this stuff. The problem with that game style, though, is eventually a guild or a clan will, will take over the server. And then the server becomes quite dull, and it gets taken over. And there is an opportunity that a, a, a new group will come and, you know, fight their way back. And try to cause some havoc so they lose control. But, um, sometimes it does get dominated, and that's when the server's kind of pretty, the war's over at that point. And then you let that, you know, that group have their fun for, uh, you know, however long you want the server to be up. And then once it's done, it's done, and then you start all over again. New server wipe, everyone's level one again. And then, you know, people level up, it's like a race, and the war, the wars start again. I think that would be pretty fun. And a game that uh, that does that... Sort of. They have like a tournament realm. It's called uh, it's called Tibia. And they also have hardcore servers... That cater to uh, that style of play. And I think it would be cool if New World did that. Because if you notice, like, during this Let's Play, like, yeah, I've been I've been killed a couple times. But the majority of the people I meet don't have PvP on them. And that's totally fine. You know? That's just what, that's just how the game is. Oh, wow. I don't have many uh, health bots either, which kind of sucks. So is the foreman inside here? I assume he is. I think we might have fought him. Last episode. I clearly need to eat something. Okay, now he's healing up. Should we're gonna have to buy some health pots pretty soon. Should he miss? Okay. This will eat a bunch. That'll be like our way to get health back. Yeah, they're fun servers. And then the, what you would would call those servers, they're, they're war servers. That's what they are. Oh, this is the Foreman. Foreman Herald. Actually, found him pretty quick. Okay. 
Yeah, I think they should implement that because they kind of have to, you know, embrace what this game is. You know, this game is about, you know, three factions fighting for territory. And I think they kind of uh, abandoned that. For, you know, the theme park style MMO that every other company does. And I think today, like, it's it's just too hard to compete with those other companies. Because it takes years of content for you to, like, catch up. But I think it's good that they're doing the theme park stuff at the same time, because in the long term, it will add a lot of content to the game, and it'll... It'll, it'll just be a bigger game in general. I just think the... Like, the main aspect of the game, like, you know, fighting for control and territory, should be, uh... Should be highlighted a little bit more. Oh, God. We're getting wrecked. Yeah, let's finish him. Do we kill the foreman there? Oh, defeat the guardsman. In the upper slag mine. Oh, we gotta go here. Okay, so we got the foreman down. Now we gotta go get the guardsman. Yeah, those servers would be hectic, though. Like, say you're leveling out here by yourself. Like a group of, you know, syndicate can come and just wipe me out. Also, I, I, I would assume Azoth, it wouldn't cost like, you know, 10 Azoth to travel around. It'd be pretty expensive to travel around. They would have to make it, you know, it's a, it hurts. Or they would just move, remove shrines in general and everything that you have to like run by foot. Or you have to actually own a home in the in the settlement for you to actually be able to fast travel there. Fast traveling is a little OP. I think for servers like this, though, it's good because most people are just, you know, trying to PvE. Yeah, if you guys never heard of a game called Tibia before... It's an old school MMO. Older than, uh. Much older than World of Warcraft. It's even older than RuinScape. I think it was like came out in like 96, 98. And, um. It's still going today. I'd say it's got around, you know, same amount of people as uh, New World playing. Probably like, you know, 15 to 20 thousand. It's also a lot of people playing on, you know, private servers as well that aren't accounted for. Because the game did change over time. So they, you know, they could, you know, cater to newer players. They made it a little bit more easier. And they also uh, added, like, in-store shop stuff that people don't really enjoy. And you could say uh, the in-store shop stuff is pay to win. And it is. Like, you know, you can buy, like, potions and XP boosts and all this stuff. It's totally pay to win. But, uh... Yeah, it is what it is. That's how they make their money. And, and I don't know. It kind of sucks that they... That MMOs have gone that way, but... It's still got a cool concept with the hardcore servers. Great game, too. Also, you could imagine, since the game's been out for, you know, over 20 years, clearly has uh, a lot of content. Like, the, you can play that game for a very long time. There's, there's no level cap. Like, you know, you can level all the way to a million if you wanted to, like, but there's nobody who's ever hit that high. 
I think in the last couple of years, somebody hit a thousand, and that was like a real big deal, because nobody's ever hit level a thousand, but I think there's probably a lot of people over level a thousand now. And it's a really cool game. When you die, you lose experience, and you have a, if you're not, you know, protected by blessings, which cost like gold and your resources, and you have a chance to actually drop your gear. Which makes dying, you know, gives dying a, a little bit of a scary feeling to it. You know, because you get that, that feeling of like actual loss. When I die in this game, like, like it does, it's, it sucks, but it's not like the worst feeling in the world. Like I'm not losing XP. I'm not losing gear, like, I'm really just losing a little bit of time. Well, in Tibia, you know, in games like that, you're losing a lot of time, because you're losing your experience and your resource, and, and like, the resources used to get blessed. Blessed, or if you're not blessed, you gotta, you lose loot that took the time to, to, like, you know, collect and farm for. I know those style of game, like style of servers. If that was that hardcore style, is it's not for everybody. But I think New World kind of uh, it, it wouldn't hurt them to give it a try. They should try to cater to a niche community now. I think. But that's just me. I don't know how the game can you know compete with. The likes of Lost Ark, World of Warcraft, you know, Final Fantasy, even like Elder Scrolls Online. Like, there's so many games that MMOs out there, and then there's like new ones that are gonna come out soon that are gonna get a bunch of hype because they're new. Yeah, I still think this game has some potential. It's a cool game. I think a lot of people think that. Like, they think the game is pretty cool. Like, it had... had... I wouldn't say it had. It's not over yet, but... I guess it did had a chance, because, like... It... It'll never get to the hype that it was at on release. When it had over like 900,000 people playing and there was like so many servers. Remember this? Oh, this is the guy we fought last episode. Alright, well, let's deal with him. Is this him? Guard Philip? Yeah. Beat the crap out of this guy. It's pretty tough though. He's got a shield, which is kind of annoying. He hits pretty hard. So do we. Oh crap. All I know is if you get hit by one of those charged up abilities, sure does hurt. Also, I think the arena will be cool. I just don't know how it's going to compete with, with like World of Warcraft arena. The cool thing is, is that you know they're they're trying to compete. Another, like, supposedly decent arena game is, uh... It's Lost Ark. Supposedly Lost Ark's arena is pretty damn good. Right, there we go. So we got a bunch of stuff. Now we have to search for Jorn Joan and Marcus and Paraville? No, we have to just go back and speak with Hughes. Alright, so let's do that. Maybe we'll hit level 56. Ah, 
cut off the head and the body will fall. Dealing with those two will bring their operations to a standstill. That should have the corrupted questioning their strategy here. All right, so we got a decent amount of XP. Didn't get 56, but I think we'll hit that soon. And yeah, guys, thanks for uh, listening to my rant about New World and why I think they should have, you know, they should give hardcore servers a, a chance or maybe go back to their, you know, original plan of having a open world, you know, PvP style game. But, uh, yeah. Still gonna level up to 60. I, I enjoy the game. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, hitting 60 and eventually, you know, hopefully getting to do the Heart of the Tempest once we get some loot. Well, that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.